All right, what's going on guys? Using Actions here and welcome to some seven days to die on the PC. Now this video is very different for me because first of all, I've never played seven days on the channel. Second of all, this is my first time ever recording a video on my PC. So this is kind of crazy, but um, I figured we'd try this game out because it fits my channel perfectly. I just haven't played it on my channel before. It's a, uh, if you don't know what it is, it's a survival sandbox zombie horror survival game, like everything my channel um, is about basically and I've never really played it on my channel I've just played it a lot in my free time as you can see there at the top of the screen um, I'm on day 56 and that is red which means it's horde night of course by the name of the game every seven days a horde does come and a 56 is a multiple of seven so we have a horde tonight I'm also what you're seeing here is my base that I've literally built from the ground up this was just open field at one point so I'm very proud of this and I'll be giving you a little bit of tour of this. This is the traders. I know I looked at that a minute ago. Don't think I built that. That was, you know, generated there. But, um, yeah, so this is going to be really weird. I hope everything technically works out. Because I'm really new to this, like, PC gaming kind of stuff. And, um, yeah, I don't know. We'll just see how the video turns out. If you guys enjoy this, uh, I know a lot of people do Let's Plays of this game. But uh, I don't want to start it off as a Let's Play on my channel. I figured I'd show you guys, you know, some action packs, some cool horde killing stuff. And uh, see where we go from there. So as you can see here, definitely ready for Horde Night. I got a nice little system here. This is widely known if you play a lot of 7 Days or watch a lot of 7 Days. But if not, I'll kind of show you how this works. So as you can see here, the bottom of my base under here is flooded with iron spikes. I need to upgrade them to steel. This is my motorcycle. Pretty cool. It, it, it gets me places pretty quickly. Uh, I want to work out a better system to get into my base. But, um, yes, my machete is on fire. Don't question anything. <laughs> it's a controlled fire. Don't worry. Anyway, I want to figure out a way to get into my base a little better. Maybe a little more stylish. But for right now, it's a little vault hatch you go into. And uh, so first things first, you come up here. These, I just consider them drop-off chests. Uh, if I want to just throw something into a chest really quickly, I can throw it in here. They're all empty right now because I'm very organized when it comes to these kind of games. This little hatch leads uh, down kind of far into the ground. Not really. It's my little mine, but I quit using it because I'm worried I'm going to collapse my base. Because <laughs> unlike in other like, survival games like Minecraft, gravity does exist in this world. So, very easily to topple your base if you clear the ground under it. So this is a nice little spot. Um, I know this pistol looks kind of dumb with a reflex and re uh, suppressor on it, but eh, what are you going to do? Uh, this is a little spot. I like to think I can stand up on the chest here and uh, shoot at some zombies. Got the iron bars going across. And uh, if we go up another level, here's the killing floor. Um, I did paint these bars red. They're not... Uh, my idea was, you know, I kind of sit up here and kill all the zombies, so like blood would kind of you know hop up here not hop but splatter i guess up here um but yeah so this is where i uh, do all my base defending basically i try to make a base where i don't really have to go one-on-one -on -one and meet the zombies face to face so basically what i do is you know they run from any direction i have spikes as you can see surrounding the entire base i need to put some more over here actually but uh yeah spikes all the way around and I sit up here and you can shoot through these bars, like so. And, uh, yeah. So I basically sit up here, pop them, while the spikes also damage them. And then if they do manage to get to here, I have everything painted. This is not like, okay. I'm trying to explain this for people that have never played 7 Days. Um, my whole base is made out of concrete. This is all made out of steel and concrete are the, some of the most expensive materials in the game. Uh, this whole part right here what the zombies could hit if they get through this is all steel so that would be very hard for them to destroy and um, then the rest of everything this is all concrete I know this looks like wood and this obviously it looks like brick but this is just a texture I painted on there because I like the looks of brick but this is actually all concrete blocks I know this looks like wood with some like iron right there but this is concrete <laughs> it's all concrete but I just wanted to make it more aesthetically pleasing. You know, easier to look at on the eye instead of easier. What did I just say? Easier to look at. You know what I'm saying. You know what I mean. So. But, 
Yeah, and then we go up another floor, and then we have my little workshop area. And I just, I love how this base turned out. It's nothing, like, super crazy. If you look up seven-day builds, people have done insane things in this game, building-wise. But I like to consider myself myself pretty new to the game still. But uh, once again, this is all, everything you see is painted on textures. These books isn't a real bookshelf. It's a painted on texture, but I think it adds a nice little touch to everything. Um, as, you, you know, I am very organized, as I said. I got um, a bunch of storage chests or storage boxes, if you will, labeled and everything. Uh, here's my bedroll. You think, you know, I, I kind of look like a rich apocalypse person, but yet I'm sleeping on the concrete floor, basically, but it's fine. You, you can't actually sleep in this game. This is just used to set your spawn point. So if I do die, which luckily I haven't died yet in this world, but if I do die, I will spawn back here in my house. And uh, I guess I'll go ahead and show you guys my stats here. Um, so I'm level 67, game stage 146, 4,121 zombie kills. Obviously, I had this in my solo world. I have zero deaths myself. And um, yeah, this this is my man. Looking pretty sick, repping all pink. Oh, <laughs> that scares me every time I forget that happens. It's like a, a storm brewing in the distance. The horde is coming. Anyways. Um, yeah, got my guy here looking all cool, repping pink. I'm not even going to tell you how long it took me to find pink dye to turn everything. Because as you see here, you need dye to make your weapons and clothes colors and I you know I was just scavenging out like normal but every time I found pink dye I threw it on my clothing because I was like I guess yeah, pink's not even my favorite color I just thought it'd be kind of funny to have a guy all dressed in pink in the zombie apocalypse <laughs> so that's that's what I made got my little farms here got some blueberries some pumpkins growing some aloe yucca uh, I got mushrooms all over the walls which I actually need to harvest because they grow on the walls bunch of corn in this plot some potatoes here I'm still needing to get some more seeds to finish out this plot and then coffee oh beautiful coffee yeah I got a bunch of turrets up here I'm not too sure if these even do anything but I just kind of collect them and load them up with ammo as you can see here I got my uh, robotic turret ammo in this little chest here and I just kind of load them up with ammo and sit them around I like to think they're preventing uh, there's like these uh, infected zombie vultures that can come after you and fly over your base. So I'd like to think they're protecting me from that. But as you can see, like, this one's off right now. But if I walk forward, it'll turn on. Walk back, it turns off. So I don't even know if they're on or off half the time. <laughs> and also, what time is it? All right, we got time. <laughs> the horde's coming soon. But uh, I also, I might as well just show you some of you guys my build. Ooh, I have a point to spend. I didn't realize that. Uh, show you my skill build here, I guess, if you will. I, I have nothing in perception. I find all this stuff, like, I mean, obviously some of it would be nice and handy to have, but meh. Um, level 7 out of 10 in strength. Um, I got my sexual Tyrannosaurus, which, um, you know, okay, I'm I'm showing this part more for the people that... God, that lightning keeps kind of scaring me. It's coming out of nowhere. Or that thunder. But, um... This is kind of just for the people that know what seven days is. I'm kind of just showing you what my build is right at the moment. So minor 69 or mother load. This is what I got going on in my strength. I got a level three in fortitude and I didn't even want to put anything into this tree. But the only reason I got level three for fortitude was so I could get living off the land. So I could um, obviously craft my uh, farm plots for 50% less, which was nice. And... Uh, craft seeds for the berries and vegetables so this was literally just so I could make my little farm plots and then agility is my main uh, skill I wanted to go into I suppose as you can see I mainly specced out in gunslinger deep cuts uh, parkour all this kind of stuff and then also level 6 out of 10 intellect uh, this is more this is more just for the advanced engineering and uh, bartering, because I, I do a lot of work with the traders. As you can see here, I'm a mercenary. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And then I'm also trying to collect all of the books in the game. I'm, 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 doing, I'm, do I'm not doing too bad. I got a lot of 7 out of 7. Mostly 5, 6, 7s is all you'll see. I don't think, yeah, I don't even have anything below a 5. So, 
Uh, we're getting there. Now the problem is, though, everything's starting to become really hard to find because I have everything, so... I like, to, I like to keep some repair kits on me because repair kits do repair more than just vehicles. I just keep them in my vehicle crafting chest. Or not chest, uh, storage box. Um, I, I kind of want to go with use another weapon instead of just my 44. But what do I want to go with? Let's go with the AK. Why not? Why not? Let me grab some uh, 762 rounds. Very nice. This is the kind of person I am. I'm sorry. I gotta be very organized. Uh, there, there. Okay. I should probably grab. Ah, yeah, I'll grab some more 44 rounds. It's 44 rounds though. They, they a little, they're a little expensive to make. I'm not gonna lie to you. Kind of hurts me. All right. Now we got ourselves the AK. No camo, anything on it. We're only gonna be whipping it out for the horde night. And, uh, yeah, so I think we're about ready. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Listen for the screech. Here we go. Two. This is a really slow second countdown. One. Oh, boy, here we go. Oh, look at him coming in. Can I snipe him? I'm pretty sure this is a one shot to, I don't know how many zombies. Maybe all of them, maybe not. Oh, there's a spider zombie. Alright. Interesting. They don't normally always attack from this side. Actually, I don't think they've ever attacked me from this side. This is weird. I mean, as you can see, I'm obviously prepared. I have spikes everywhere. <laughs> oh, wait, are they coming? They're coming from different sides. I love this 44 Magnum. I finally got the uh, schematic to craft my myself a high, nice high tier level one. In this uh, in this play session I'm doing right at the moment, I've been playing for a couple hours up to this point, and decided I might I might as well make a video on it. My game always gets really well, not really bad, but it gets pretty choppy during Horde Night sometimes. Oh, got a spitter! Look at that, got melt through my bars, spitting that acid. This was uh. These damn birds. Oh, come here. Birds are so annoying in this game. They're like these little zombie vultures. They're better. Hang on. Let me go see something. I think he's attacking my, my, uh, my shit up here. Where are you? I, I, okay, I don't know. Everything seems in order up here. <laughs> actually, you know, I don't even think I... Oh, actually, nope, they're hitting my... Or, she was trying to get in. She was not trying to hit my vault door. I think my base is doing a pretty damn good job of just... Keeping them at bay. Just because the amount of spikes and the amount of spikes they got to go through to get even close to my base. Oh, wow. I got... How did you hit me? I've never even been hit by their acid before. Fair play, buddy. Fair play. Let's use the AK a little bit. Even though the sad part is the AK is not even... Uh, one of my really powerful weapons. It might... Hitting you? Hello? Go down, my guy. Alright. See, if I was specced into rifles, this would be doing a lot more damage, but I'm not specced into rifles. Not this playthrough, at least. 
That's something I can appreciate this, in this game. They add great replayability. Because in different playthroughs, you can do different builds. And this game's very re like easily replayable. That's just one of the many great ways that it is. Got a nice level up, level 68. One of them spider zombies. Yeah, my spikes are actually doing a pretty damn good job of taking them out, honestly. Not bad, not bad. Duh! I don't want to be spat on, my guy. I'll spit, I'll spit on you with bullets. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. I know it's kind of random on my channel, but uh, this is a game that I really do enjoy. Like, I, I generally really do. Oh, come here, buddy. Oh, come on, go down. It's always the bigger dudes. They're harder to bring down. I guess it makes sense, but... You slippery little son of a bitch. If you're curious what these yellow things are, it's a uh, zombie loot. Sometimes the zombies will drop loot, there's a chance they can. Most of the time they don't, but... Uh, I actually think I have a, a perk book that makes them drop loot. You know, I actually, I think my turrets are doing stuff. I'm pretty sure I just heard one shit. Oh my god. Go away. Leave my house alone. What do you think you're doing? i do a dive attack on me. You know, Horde Knights are always like the most fun part of the game. But they also kind of hurt me. Because like... When I hear all my stuff, oh, there's Big Bertha. When I hear all of my stuff being destroyed, it kind of hurts my heart a little bit. <laughs> Cause you know, it's like, I worked so hard, put all these materials. Wow, you got far. Too shady you, buddy. Yeah, I've, I've worked so hard on building this, put every material down, made everything myself, and then the zombies are just tearing it up. But then you gotta remember, that's like, that's the whole point of the game. <laughs> If there was nothing to tear it up, it would just be boring. <laughs> so. Also, uh, you're probably wondering what these like glowing enemies are. I think these are just like mutated versions of normal zombies. That just makes them faster and stronger. Let me take a sip of coffee, actually. Nice time for a coffee break, wouldn't you say? Get some stamina regen. I don't know if you guys can tell, but they're kind of trying to target this certain pole right here, see? They're, al they're always right around a pole, as you can see here. See this one's attacking this pole? That's the whole idea behind the design of the base. Oh, wow. What are you guys doing? I'm telling you, this AK is pretty nice, man. It almost makes me want to put some points into rifles. I'm not even kidding, but I'm not going to. So now they're all targeting this side of my base. I'm pretty sure this isn't the one they were targeting earlier. Or it might be. I don't know. On a real though, though, my base has been infiltrated before. I, I'm pretty I think it was like the day 21 horde, and I completely underestimated it, and I was nowhere near ready. And um, they, they were up here, you know, I'm supposed to be up here by myself shooting down and uh, shooting, you know, down at them. 
They were up here with me. <laughs> it was not a pleasant experience. But, hey, I lived through it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're, why are they, that's weird that they're targeting this side. I hate those spider zombies, they're so annoying. Like, them themselves, what they do is annoying, but the sound they make is super annoying. How are we doing on ammo? Oh, we're fine. We're a Gucci. I mean, of course I would like more ammo. When, when do you not want more ammo? You never, you never say it's like, you're never truly satisfied with how much ammo you have. Especially in zombie apocalypse games, like come on. You're never satisfied. You always want, want more rounds. Like really good too. They've only took out what maybe a layer, not even one layer of my spikes. They kind of have that uh, World War Z effect where sometimes they'll uh, <laughs> stack on top of each other and climb your walls or your base, which you never want, but. It's kind of a cool feature. That's one of the coolest parts of the World War Z series. And the books and movie and stuff. Right. I always get these uh, bigger these zombies. That I, th I call them Big Berthas. I don't know if that's what they're actually called. But, uh, they always come towards, like, the middle of the horde. I don't know why they don't just start showing up at the beginning. I kind of wish they did, because they give me more XP. <laughs> of course, these irradiated zombies give me the most, obviously. But are they trying to get in? No. See, these dogs are no big deal now, you know, once you got a stable base set up like I do. But if you hear one of those dogs running at you in, like, the early days, like, day one through, like, you know, five, six, seven, you're like, oh, shit. <laughs> because they easily, easily outrun you. They do a lot of damage. They attack very quickly. They're very lethal. I don't know, I can't even tell you how many playthroughs. I used to play this on console before they sadly quit updating it. But I can't tell you how many worlds I lost early game that made me just not want to play because a dog got a hold of me, like on day two. <laughs> it, I mean, it could have been, the playthrough could have been going swell, but that dog came out and ruined everything. Looks like those zombies are dropping us a lot of nice loot, though. Very nice of them. We're still doing pretty good on ammo. I know we already leveled once during this Horde Night too. We're actually getting pretty close to leveling again. Not, not bad. All right, let's let's go have some fun. It's daytime. 360 a zombie, you say? Does that count? <laughs> Just finish up the stragglers. Of course, at 4 o'clock it becomes morning, so the zombies all kind of chill out. They get out of their feral mode. And they uh, go back to a walking normal, walking dead kind of zombie speed. And actually just chill out. And alright, wait. Oh, I hear it. Yeah, there you are. I was about to say, that sounds like it's about it, but... Got a straggler. Is he down? He's down. Nice. Alright, nice and easy, guys. There we go. That was the day of 56 horde. This game is in alpha still. As you guys can see in the top right, you can see it says alpha 19 B 180. Uh, I've been playing the game. I first started playing it on, oh, why won't you let me loot you? Uh, whatever. I first started playing it on Xbox on console 
when it first came out back in like 2016. I'm pretty sure that was during like Alpha 15 or 16, something like that. I'm pretty sure it was Alpha 15. And uh, yeah, I've been playing the game since around then. And uh, let me tell you, even though I know there's people that have been playing it way much, you know, way longer than I have, this game has improved drastically in the past. Dra Did I say drastically? Drastically? God, I can't even speak English. <laughs> In the past, like, three, four alphas, it has been a major, major improvement to the game. So I'm very happy with that. Because um, this game's actually been a thing since, I'm pretty sure, like, 2013. They've just been constantly updating it, which, you know, I'm not really opposed to. You know, some people might complain that, you know, um, they've been working on it for, what, seven years now? <laughs> and they don't even have, like, a full, you know, stable game to release. But, I mean, this game is very... It is very fun, and I'm not even really opposed to them releasing. Oh, that bothers me. I can't get that one. I'm not opposed to them releasing constant updates. Like, if you think about it, instead of having just a game and throwing it out there, and there's still being bugs in the game that you know could be ruining the game experience for some people, I say having a game like this, where you are constantly updating everything, is the way to go. Honestly, I don't know if this was an interesting video. I don't know if you enjoyed it I've never made a video on this game or like this on my channel before so uh, Please let me know what you thought of the video if you like this game if you're not into it If you'd like to see more if you wouldn't just please let me know what you think about all this uh, That was kind of just a cool little experiment uh, like you know everybody wants to see the hordes in this game So I figured I'd record a video of me um, You know slaughtering the horde pretty easily I kind of want to make it more interesting. It's starting to get a little dull, kind of boring on me. So, I don't know. I might try and make a new base that makes it a little more eventful when the hordes come. But we'll just have to see. That, Of course, you know, that all depends if you guys want more videos or I can just do it in my free time. So, with that being said, uh, please, please, please let me know what you thought about the game. If you want a series on it, you want more videos on it, let me know. If you played it yourself, what do you think about the game? All that good stuff. So, with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy. Actually, real quick. Let me hop up here. Are there any bodies? Now, I'm almost positive these turrets don't do anything. Because you'd think there'd be, like, at least one of, like, the vultures' bodies up here. But there's not. Weird. Okay, anyway, hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to like button. If you guys are new to my channel, subscribe. Please let me know if you'd like more of this game. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Used to fuck around in the night time Used to feel like that shit was my lifeline Yeah, we kept it cool, feeling so high Young, so young, so young